I've got everything I think pretty well ready to go and I just laid out an outfit. I'm going to bring this this kind of real soft chambray kind of like just a little soft throw over in case it's cold in the airport and then I'm going to wear these comfortable super comfortable linen shorts. I know they're going to get wrinkled but I'm not worried about it and then my favorite black t-shirt it's nice and roomy, so that is what I'm going to wear on the plane because I'm always going for comfort. are here we made it to st louis the flight was beautiful way too early never doing that again i don't know what i was thinking my flight took off at five o'clock in the morning so i don't know what i was thinking obviously that means that i have to be at the airport at like you know 3 45 4 o'clock because the flight boarded at 4 30 so i didn't get any sleep at all i don't know about you but when i have a flight then I don't sleep the night before. I have just enough adrenaline that it keeps me awake. And I was worried about getting up on time when I realized that I had to set my alarm for three o'clock in the morning. So it got to be like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I was not able to fall asleep. And I start, you know what you do? You start thinking, okay, now I'm going to get two hours sleep. Now I'm going to get two and a half hours sleep. Now I'm going to get, you know, and then you can't fall asleep. So I got one hour and 10 minutes of sleep for the entire night. So by the time I was ready to get up and leave, it was just, I was so exhausted. It was really nice. The flight was beautiful. They turn all the lights down because it's so early in the morning. But the really nice thing about those early flights are that there's hardly anybody on the plane. There were 82 open seats. They announced that. And then also you can see the sun come up. So that was really, really beautiful. But of course, me being me, I'm like a magnet to people that are going to do something weird on an airplane. You know, 82 open seats, 82. And I have somebody come sit down by me who's weird. And by weird, I mean, you guys tell me, do you think this is strange? Because to me, it was absolutely strange. So some guy sits down by me and there was, you know, the middle seat was open. Thank goodness. So, you know, you have a little bit of room and I, my seat I was happy with. So anyway, the guy sits down and we're getting ready to take off. And out of the blue, he takes my hands like this and goes like this. And I don't know if he was like nervous or if he wanted to say a prayer or if he, I don't know what he was doing, but it, it was like, I just kind of laughed because I was like, what the heck? And what is this guy? You know, and I don't know if maybe that would be a little bit more normal if we weren't in the days of viruses and all of that. I just don't think you grab a stranger's hands like that. I just thought it was strange. And he didn't really bother me throughout the entire flight. But I'm telling you, I was sitting there thinking, if this guy's going to act strange, that I, thank goodness there's 82 open seats because I'm going to get up and move. I mean, it was 5 o'clock in the morning. I wanted to just drink my coffee, get centered, and I'm open to conversation or whatever. We can have nice chit-chat. But don't you think grabbing somebody's hands is kind of weird? I don't know. I thought it was weird. Let me know what you think. I'm very curious. Is it just me or is it weird? So we also have a grocery haul today. I did get to the store. We're one day, we're one full day later. I slept 12 hours. I was just so tired. So we're one full day later. My daughter did take me to the store, so I'm stocked up. I don't want to undo the good that I've done with my dieting. I'm so close to goal now, which makes me feel great. I've had two days of not eating good and two days will put five pounds on me. So I want to make sure that I get right on track, 
don't divert, you know, for too long. I want to be able to work in out to dinner, out to lunch, all those things while I'm here without completely, you know, if I put on two, three pounds, I'm okay with that, but I'm not, I don't want to put on five or 10. So let's take a look at the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul. Now we're going to do the refrigerator today. Probably through the week, I'll give you a pantry haul because I need to get all this stuff put away. So let's go through what I got as mostly cold items. I have one or two other things that are not, but all right, this is what I got to have a successful trip in beginning this week in St. Louis. So I got a big thing of the Fairlife chocolate reduced fat milk. My grandson loves this, but you know, honestly, for 50% less sugar, I like this. 140 calories per cup. I think it tastes like melted chocolate ice cream. So I got a thing of that. Of course, I cannot go without my ground chicken. I got a big giant thing of it at Sam's. So excited about that. I'm going to make a whole bunch of chicken burgers. I know my daughters will love those as well. So I like to teach my daughters new things to cook while I'm in town, and I know that they'll both really like that. I got some zero sugar caramel macchiato creamer. This is not for coffee for me. This is for yogurt. I have been using that to flavor my yogurt for French toast or honestly just by itself. It is a great flavor enhancer. So a little bit of that. I got a big thing of the Good Culture low-fat cottage cheese. Calories on that. Let me give you calories because you know a lot of us are doing calories. Half a cup is 80 calories. One tablespoon is 20 on this. So really that's what I use for a half a cup, three quarters cup of Greek yogurt. I use one tablespoon and it gets the job done. So let's see, I'm gonna, let's go back to this too. Calories on this one, 160 for four ounces, which most of my burgers are four ounces. So you do have to take points on this one. 160 calories, you have to take points where it says fresh and lean. The other version that's 98% fat free, that'll be 120 calories, I believe. Might be 140, but it's definitely less than 160, and that will indicate to you that it's zero points. Uh, and I think I already gave you this, yes. Okay, let's scoop back down here. So I got some light mayo, because I always need that. 35 calories for one tablespoon. I got some Power Zinc because, you know, I'm not here to get sick. You guys know I just got over COVID. And I think, I don't know, I heard, who knows, that you can be susceptible to other viruses once you get over that. I think just simply because, I'm looking for the calories here, 50 calories for three of them, but I don't count that. Anyway, um, I think your immune system goes kind of down a little bit. But what am I talking about? I have no idea. That's just what I've heard. But I'm being careful. I got some Greek non-fat yogurt. I love this one. This, I think, came from Costco. I did a grocery haul from Sam's, Costco, and Schnucks, which is a local grocery store here. 100 calories for three quarters cup. Of course, I cannot live without my dark magic dark roast coffee. I got some carb balance wraps. Yet another thing that I can't live without. 70 calories for one. I got some hummus. This sounded good to me for the week, spinach and artichoke hummus. Now, I have been known to take one of these, put it in the air fryer, crisp it up, and then spread this hummus over the top. Delicious. Where's my calories on this? This one is two tablespoons. Yell it out when you see it, because I don't. 80 calories for two tablespoons. So it would be 150 calories for one of these and two tablespoons of this. So pair that with a salad and you have a decent little lunch. I got some Velveeta. Of course, I ordered the big one and they sent me the small one, but I have to have this for my little fake penny alla vodka and also broccoli and cheese. That's one of my staples. 70 calories for that for a serving, which I think is an inch. I also got some reduced fat Sugar-free uh, chocolate pudding, 60 calories for a cup. Unsweetened applesauce, one container is 50 calories. 
I'm putting the points here on the screen for you as well. For those of you that are listening, I know some of you, some of you listen and don't always watch. And so that's why I try to do both to let you know I am putting it on the screen just in case, you know, I appreciate all of you if you're kind of hanging out with me, putting your makeup on for the day or whatever. 35 calories for two tablespoons of light sour cream. These are all the things I have to have on hand at all times. Eggs, and I, I really like the Eggland's best. I got used to them. So the extra large ones are set, are 70 calories. The regular size ones are 60. I, of course, had to have my unsweetened almond milk. 30 calories for one cup. So remember, 30 calories for one cup here, and then over here, 140 calories for a cup. But still, you know, sometimes I am in the mood for it. And then lastly, I picked up three six packs of Zevia. They didn't have it in the case like I wanted, but you could see here I already had one. So again, these are the things that I have to have on hand at all times. So I'm going to get all this put away and I will see you in a couple days. We'll probably do a pantry haul, but you're going to see me start cooking. And you know what? I'm so excited. Let me come over here and show you. Oh, could I not adjust? I could just do a dance. I have my cooking with fire back here. You know, in Florida, I do not, there's hardly any gas where I live. You have to do um, electric cooktop. So I am so excited to cook with fire again, which is my, my preferred. Okay, I will see you in the next couple of days.